Carolina has looked more impressive offensively than anyone in the tournament, but nobody has been as good defensively as the Tar Heels' next opponent. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the NCAA Tournament Previews, presented by Brother Printers and All-in-Ones. UNC, the first team since Loyola Marymount 18 years ago to score more than 100 points in each of its first two games. But Washington State has not given up more than 41 in either game. And for more, we bring in CBS College Sports Network Steve Lapis to break it down. And Steve, this matchup really is awesome offense against unbelievable defense. Can the Cougars hold them down? Well, first of all, you can't get, get a bigger contrast in styles than you have in this game right now. And I think the Cougars are capable of holding them down because of the way they play pace-wise. They have very good perimeter players, and they will make this game slow. And remember this, it's always easier to slow the pace down than to speed it up. Now, one of the key factors here, though, is the game is in Charlotte, so it's a semi-home game for North Carolina. But I still believe this game will be played at Washington State's pace, whether they have enough offensively to get it done against North Carolina. That remains to be seen. But I think the pace is going to be slow. Well, a slow pace means Tyler Hansborough is going to get a lot of touches inside. How do they handle him, Steve? Well, that's one of the big things that North Carolina has in its favor. They're a team that can play at two paces, even though obviously they prefer to go up and down and play a fast pace. They're capable because when you have a great scorer like a Tyler Hansborough in the lane to throw the ball to when the game gets bogged down, that really helps. I have to think Washington State is really going to pack it in around him. They're going to double him, probably big to big, which is most of the time when they've played good big guys, that's what they've done, and then rotate. But what that does is it may hurt them in terms of their rebounding on the glass. And we know this North Carolina team, one of the best rebounding teams in the country, top 10 rebound margin. Absolutely, Steve. But the other thing about North Carolina, though, is that they, obviously when you're scoring more than 100 points, a lot of people are getting their points. Uh, if they get into Hansbro and double and triple them, there have been guys on North Carolina that have just been shooting lights out when you look at Green and Ellington and Lawson. Uh, who do you focus on here? Well, you know, though, I think they're much better shooters when the game is moving quickly than when these shots are coming fewer and less between, so to speak. When they're getting up and down, those threes that they shoot in transition are much easier to make than when they're a little bit bogged down and forced to make more passes. So don't get me wrong. Danny Green's a great shooter. Wayne Ellington's a 40% three-point shooter who's had an unbelievable year. But the only chance this Washington State team has is if they play slow. So they've got to make a decision. I think the decision is going to be, let's surround Hansborough, let's push these guys outside, and let's see if they make enough threes against us to beat us. So that puts then all the pressure on the Washington State backcourt to control the tempo. When you look at Weaver and you look at Lowe, are they good enough take care of business. Well, Derek Lowe has 38 turnovers on the season. This is a guy who averages 34 minutes a game. He's one of the top 10 in least turnovers uh, per game. This guy here never turns it off. This, these two guys never turn it over. Derek Lowe and Kyle Weaver, a very underrated backcourt. Derek Lowe also a tremendous outside shooter, shooting 40% from the three-point line. So I think, and then you throw Taylor Rochester in there, I think those three kids on the perimeter for Washington State are capable of keeping this game slow as long as they don't turn it over, but they are not a turnover-prone team. No, absolutely not. It's a contrasting style. Should be a great game. Who do you like to win? I like North Carolina. If, if we're going to give out a winner for the pace, the winner of the pace game I think will be Washington State, but the winner of the game in a pretty good contest I think the Tar Heels. You know that nobody gets a, a check mark for winning the pace, Steve. You have to win the game. To get but it. the first thing is, if they don't play that pace, they have no chance. So the first way, the first thing they must do in order to have a chance is to play the pace game, and then you see what happens when it comes to the points in the end. All right, Steve Lapis of uh, CBS College Sports Network. Thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. The two tip it off at 727 Eastern time from Charlotte, as Steve mentioned, on Thursday night. Of course, on CBS. And for more on this game or any other in the regional semis, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or the CBS College Sports Network leading up to the game. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.